How's it going, guys? Here we are at Blast Premiere Week 2. I'm standing here with the champions of Blast. Global Finals, that is, but not necessarily the Premiere. How are you guys doing? Doing good. I got my chicken with me, and I got my, my good Ingham Lila Glaive here, so I'm doing perfect. Where's the egg come from? Um, I have literally no idea. I just showed you. Oh, the flap? <laughs> Somewhere or something here. There it is. That's where, the that's, that's where the eggs come from. Um, quick question. How's my Danish? Vor au toilette. Uh, oh, I bought a little. So that if was. You, a, you I mean, really want to w see the bathrooms? It's outside in a in a box or something. I don't know. Yeah. It's not the smell is not. Wait, the where best. where are you going to the bathroom, bro? There's bathrooms over here. Really? No, 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 no I was yeah, just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Um, you guys are the kings of the group of death. Any pressure for you guys? Um, I I don't know. I mean, it's the first tournament of the year, so everything can happen. I think we have had some good preparations in terms of practice at home and. I mean, Navi right now is playing a tournament, and that could be really good for them. It can also be really bad in terms of not having time to fix the issues, and we have a lot of data to analyze and everything. So it, it can be it can be both good and bad. But I'm I have my my hopes high. After a, like a nice little break, and you guys don't like don't play a land in a little bit, do you get like a like jitters again at all when you come back mm -hmm. into a studio environment? People are screaming. Does that does that matter? Yeah, I think that's like the most that happens when you haven't played a tournament for a long time, then you actually get a little bit of nervousness back. Uh, and when we just travel from tournament to tournament, that just fades away and you're not nervous at all, even when you're going into big games, for me at least. Um, but uh, this time around, maybe you need to like just get into the game uh, and have a great start would be nice. Well, you guys are known for bad starts at Blast, but this time around you get best of threes, right? So is that, is that a nice change? I think it's going to be a change that's going to benefit us in obviously in a good way. Mm -hmm. And um, looking back at, at the previous Blast editions so where we've been having some struggles getting off to a good start and when you play really bad at the best of one tournaments, you just had a really tough time getting back. And the fact that you can go now and play best of threes is something that's a lot more appealing to us. So I'm just looking very much forward to the new format and hope that we can continue where we left off from last year. So, you know, this week we've got a lot of good Counter-Strike about to come out, but last week as well we had our first group of the tournament. Uh, Liquid kind of stuttered. FaZe looked really good. Did you guys catch that? Do you have any thoughts on those two teams? Actually, we have been practicing a lot against FaZe, uh, and they seem to do really good. Uh, and they did against us in practice as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy to see that they didn't only uh, win against us, but they also beat Liquid. <laughs> uh, I mean, FaZe is looking solid. Um, they also won some, some tournaments last year, so uh, yeah, I'm happy to, to see them as a, as a big contender now. I think we have a lot of uh, great teams right now, and I think it's going to be an amazing 2020 to see who wins the most titles and stuff like that. You got a similar feeling? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, Glaive pretty much mentioned that when we play against teams in practice, you're either going to be like, oh, these type guys are just like playing really well in practice because there's no pressure and they just seem to be doing whatever they want. And then when they go to tournaments, they either crumble and can't play the way they did in practice or they actually perform really well. Mm -hmm. And I think that the latter uh, answer to that is that FaZe actually played pretty well in practice, but also played really great in, um, in the officials. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, again, last last week, FaZe, Liquid, they move forward. If, if you guys had to make a prediction without the matches having started tomorrow just yet, uh, other than you, of course, who's going to the Blast Spring Finals in Moscow? Oh, my God. How many teams are advancing? <laughs> That's two. tough to say. Just two, oh, from last group? Two. From your group? Two of the four from this week. Mm. Oh, so we got Vitality, like Navi, so Astralis, or Complexity. We're going with you, well, you only have to mention one team because we all think us, I think us and Vitality. Um, yeah. I'm going to go... I'm gonna go Astralis and Vitality. Navi, just to be saying okay. something else. Okay. Well, that's good. Maybe you're scared of different teams, and you have maybe a better chance uh, versus those different teams. I have a question, um, just to wrap up here. It's just in general. I asked Twitter about this and a few other players. If you look at CS just in a crude way, in terms of aim, how much would you say uh, CS is about aim? If you were to give it a percentage of a, out of a hundred, would you say it's like thirty to forty percent, seventy to eighty percent? How much? How important is aim? Aim is pretty important. Aim is important, yeah. but. Aim is, is one thing, like when you stand still and just shoot at something, that is probably aim, but you have to take movement into consideration when you talk about aim as well, I think, because it's not two different things, because mm. it, it kind of um, contributes each other, right? So, uh, but I would say 70, 70, 80%. 70, yeah. 80%. Yeah. Entry fragger? Well, uh, obviously being the entry fragger requires you to, to hit headshots um, mm. a lot faster than, than in other situations, I think. But at the same time, I also need you also need to put into consideration that the, the effort that your team is putting in for you in terms of flashbangs and smokes and like uh, cutting off like angles you need to clear out. And 
I, I, if you go, like, take a guy, raw aim duel, one versus one, it could be really random, but when you put into uh, to consideration all the other things, I think aim probably is about 60, 65, probably. 60, 65. I think that's still on the upper end, though. It's, like, a very, very strong yeah. numbers here. Maybe that's the secret, guys. Maybe that's the secret. More deathmatch. Um, well, thank you so much for the uh, the interview, and uh, good luck with, the, with your week, uh, your group this week. And uh, back to you guys on the desk.